Hello everyone, this is the final ring roller coaster exercise number four. It is one of my uh, favorite exercises because it is uh, the most difficult of the ring roller coaster exercises and it helps you practice a lot of things. It's a multi dimensional exercise. So, things you should be uh, aware about when it comes to this exercise is it's going to train your wrist motion very much. Uh, the first movement is this you're going to try to switch instruments right around the first curve then you're going to switch instruments again and you're going to turn your wrist similarly to how i show you uh, on the screen uh, again every uh, little swirl that you encounter means you have to turn your wrist as much as you can and don't be afraid to switch uh, between instruments again basic um, things as you know, that are important for any ring roller coaster exercise are trying to grasp the ring as close to the perimeter as possible number one number two uh, always try to grasp the ring uh, in a parallel angle between the tip of your instruments and the, uh, the ring uh, solid perimeter uh, that's uh, that's all there is to it uh, once you complete the exercise many times uh, you'll find that it is actually a very again multi-dimensional exercise that allows you to maintain your skills and you can actually practice and complete it as, as fast as in three minutes uh, once you really become acquainted to the actual exercise and the wrist motions that you have to do. Uh, one uh, thing that uh, might not be immediately obvious is this first part right here, the curve. Uh, in the first curve, you have to switch instruments right away by grabbing the ring from the bottom and then switch uh, hands again. Uh, again, those type of exercises don't subtract that many points for ring uh, collisions. They subtract points when they as points when they detect lack of fluency of motion and inefficiency. So I believe this exercise graded as ninety nine percent my score. You can also get a hundred percent, but uh, it's gonna take it might take a little bit more time and. Uh, you can you have to be a little bit slower when it comes to uh, moving your ring so that you have actually uh, I, I, I believe it was three or less collisions uh, with the solid structure uh, but anyway you can uh, play around with it and uh, experiment as much as you like uh, this is a general guide on how to get a high score and hopefully um, uh, improve your skills so that you are more efficient uh, in the operating room when the time comes. That's all there is for me. Thank you.